everyone. I hope everybody is having a good morning. It is early again. Um, I know I started out really early. I always say it's really early because it is really early. Anywho, so today we're going to show you something new or I'm going to show you something new. Um, I actually have been trying it for a while now. Um, up until um, five months ago, um, I was using it. Um, and then a lot of stress happened, a lot of bad things, and I um, started getting um, cold sores. I got a cold sore on my lip, and so I had to stop doing it for a while. Um, but And it's not lip scents I'm talking about. What I'm actually talking about is candy lips. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of candy lips. But this is the box that it comes in. Um, and what Candy Lips is, is, is if you've seen it before, it's that lip plumper that you put on your lips. It suctions your lips, and you put it on your lips, and it it uh, makes your lips bigger. I actually have been using this, um, not recently, of course, so it's going to be like I'm starting all over. Um, but I wanted to see... Um, how my lips reacted to this and the new um, lip scents this morning. So while this is setting on my lips, um, because you said you got to set it on there for like five minutes, while this is setting on my lips, I'm going to do my eyes. So the box opens just like this, and you've got your little gel um, topper, and then it comes out, and you got several different ones actually. Um, mine looks like an apple, um, and it did come with like a little stem, but I take that off because it just, it falls off anyways. Mine looks like an apple, um, and you unscrew the top, and then you've got the, what looks like this. Now, this is an insert, a gelatin insert that you can take out or keep in, um, if you keep it in, that means that you're only like plumping your bottom lip or you're only plumping your top lip. Um, but this is, this is what it looks like on the inside. So your upper lip goes here, your bottom lip goes here, and this line, it goes right in between your lips. And then this, this right here, it goes on top. So when you have this on your lips, you're not feeling like the crushing weight around your lips of the, the plastic. So this stops the pain. Um, and if, if it is painful at any point in time, it stops it. I do have to admit this isn't painful. To me, it isn't. Um, it, you just feel like the the suction part on your lips. Um, and what you have to do is you get that on just like that. See? Get that on just like that. Okay? Um, and then you um, you have to make sure your lips are clean. There's nothing on them. And then if I can get this hair off, we'll be good to go. There we go. Um, and then you pucker up like you can give somebody a kiss. And you squeeze this really hard. So you squeeze it like it, you punch it on the inside. Now, many people have like done it like this, or you squeeze like this, and then you put it on. I can't do that. So I squeeze it like this. Mm hmm. Okay, that didn't stay very long. Let's try it again. You got to keep your, your lips like completely in or the suction will come off. So let's try it again. Mm 
<laughs> like I said, I haven't done it in a really long time. Okay, so that is for one minute. I say one minute, and then you try for the other minute. I said five minutes. It's not five minutes. It's only one minute. Look at that. They're plump. And that's only after one minute, you guys. One minute of nice plumpiness. I really like it. I really like it a lot. It works really well. Yes, it does leave this red mark, but by the time you get ready and you go out and stuff like that, that red mark's all gone. So, we're only doing mascara and eyeliner today, you guys. And then, of course, lip scents, because I got a brand new bottle that I have to try out. Bella tried out the cocoa yesterday, which worked looked really good Okay, you guys. So there's that and that. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, let's try this for one more minute.
Okay. So we clean that out with a wipey, you guys. Because you guys don't want to, like, spin inside of it or leave any saliva inside of it. We clean off the top part. And we put the piece back in. Screw the lid back on. Put it back in the box. Put that on top. And then we put the box on top of that. And we are done. Now I'm going to show you what my lip sense looks like with my candy lips. This was after two minutes. Looks really good. So we are gonna get out Bella today. <coughs> there we go. Got Bella. You saw a little chub walk in front of the camera. That's my son. He's up and about early this morning trying to get in on my video. No. Yes. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do Bella this morning. I will go downstairs. All right, Bammy. So this is the color of Bella. Can't really see it in the camera, so I'm just going to put it on my lips and go from there. Okay, so that's three coats. I don't know, you guys. Sorry about that. It kind of doesn't come up like the rosy color that I saw in the picture. Hmm. I mean, you can see that it's on my lips. It's 
kind of a darker color than I expected it to be. I thought maybe that it's just because it was in the bottle, but no, it's it's actually coming out that dark color. Okay, so that's, that's four coats because I thought that three coats wasn't enough. Hmm. It's kind of a darker color than I expected it to be. I'm going to put lip, lip gloss on it, you guys, glossy gloss, so we can see if, it, if the glossy gloss brings it out more, if that's what I was seeing. Okay, glossy gloss on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. So, the glossy gloss makes it look a little bit better. That's not too bad of a color, you guys. Um, if you like the Bella, um, you can contact Katie Leon Potts um, Lip Sense. She sells them. Um, and you can um, get those colors that you like from her. Um, I'm okay with the Bella. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I really like the brighter rosy color, though. If I'm going to wear a color like this, um, I like the bright, bright rosy color. But you never know until you try. Um, and I tried. And uh, it's okay. It's all right. I'll wear it today and and see if it it if it wears on me if I like it. Um, and I guess we are so we are done t for today. Um, I only wanted to do mascara and eyeliner and lip sense this morning because I wanted to show you the candy lips. Um, I hope you enjoyed the candy lips. Um, it did look funny and I did kind of do some funny dances, um, but that was to keep you interested and not to. <laughs> Walk away. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed giving it. And um, oh, a couple things. So I will be talking at an event next month. I'm not quite sure when that event will be, um, what day it'll be next month, but I will be speaking um, on behalf of my deceased son, Colin. Um, about suicide so if you guys would like to come with to that event if you've heard um, of that event um, please come please watch me speak um, and because uh, my family's gonna be there I'm gonna be there um, and I'm gonna be speaking um, about suicide on behalf of my son Colin so um, I hope you all can come. If not, maybe you all can see the video because I will um, have my husband um, videoing it or somebody would be videoing it. Um, and I I can't wait for it, you guys. Like I have been looking forward to being able to speak like this in front of a big crowd um, about childhood suicide for a really long time. Um, and so I... I am now getting the opportunity, and I wanted to put it out there. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed my videos, please hit the subscribe button below the video. Um, hit like. If you have any comments or want to say anything, please leave me a comment, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye.